how to back up your movies so you can watch them in VR. This is 100% the easiest way I have found to do this. But you are going to need a few things to get you started. Now, I do need to mention, obviously, depending on what country you live in and what laws are a part of that country, you need to make sure that you're not breaking any. Some countries do not allow it at all. Some countries allow you to make backups. But the best way to solve the issue is make sure that you earn the copyright to the movie that you're trying to copy obviously now there are two things that you definitely need to get started on this one is a blu-ray dvd rewriter or recorder or just generally a blu-ray dvd player that attaches to your computer and then there's the software now i'm going to use dvd fab because i have found that they seem to be the best software out there to actually do this i've tried quite a few and unbelievably this one seems to just do the job the rest i seem to have problems with actually the movie not working out right the quality just just generally things went wrong along the way some just wouldn't play whatsoever now dvd fab allows you to do it in two ways you can make an mkv file which is a good quality 3d movie or an iso file which is the best quality you're going to get from your dvd now there's only one problem with the iso file and that is the fact that there's one player that only supports iso files and that's 4xvr the rest only seem to allow mkv files so this might sway you into just using mkv but if you really want the best quality you kind of want iso but i'll show you how to do it with both the problem if you want both is that you're gonna have to buy both whereas if you're just gonna use mkv files you can just buy the dvd fab blu-ray ripper rather than the copy the blu-ray ripper does allow more formats so you can do mp4 but if you're gonna want 3d movies you're gonna want mkv or iso but it still does give you an option you know you've got more formats to record so if you're wanting to use it for anything else the ripper might be the option basically the copy is just the best quality it is bigger files again so you might want the ripper it, it's just down to you i bought both on a bundle so that is also an option you just got to wait for the best deals to come about and they seem to come quite often as well so first you're going to want to go to the download center on dvd fab the link is in the description down below i'm going to show you how to download this on windows and install and everything and you can do this on mac but i'm i don't have a mac I'd advise downloading it first. You can then do a trial. The trial does allow you to do three different copies of Blu-rays that you want to do. And that's three different copies of a ripper and three different copies of a copy. So on the download center, go to DVD Fab 13 and click free download for PC. Once you've clicked the download button, it'll take you to this page, which is thanks for downloading DVD Fab. Now you have two options. You can go to your downloads folder in windows or you can just go to the top right hand corner which is what dvd fab suggests and to prefer it's what i'd suggest especially if you're using chrome and just click on the downloads folder icon if you just double click on that file it will start to install you'll then just need to click the click to install button and it'll start to install it shouldn't take too long depending on your computer but i will speed it up for you just to get on with the video and once it's complete it'll open up and as with most software these days especially if it's downloaded from the internet windows defender will try and block it with the firewall you just need to allow access you then come to the welcome screen and you've got really two options you can try it or you can buy it if you've already bought it then you can authorize it but i'm just going to show you quickly how to try it so once you click try you'll be presented with the list of different software that's available and this is where you can go through and buy them and you want to go down to the bottom and click start dvd fab 13. you'll then come to the dvd control panel where you can access all the different bits of software including copy and ripper and this is where you need to get your own dvd that you own the copyright to dependent on the law in your country like i said this is this is a movie i made i haven't come up with a name for it yet but if you want to see it i might actually publish it on youtube it's a live action remake of Gorilla Tag. 
So once this is launched, you can either go to copy, which is for your ISO files, or ripper, which is for your MKV files. You want to take your DVD that you own the rights to, your Blu-ray DVD that you own the rights to, and you want to put it in your DVD player. Hopefully, it should just pick it up. But if you just give it a second, and so once it's loaded, it may ask you for your region code. So just depending on where you live, you want to select the one that you want to do. Now, obviously, I'm in Europe because I've got an annoying English accent. And I'm just going to press OK. Now, because we're doing 3D movies, you want to make sure that you select 2D and 3D. And then depending on what the actual quality of the video you want, you want to select one of these. Once you've selected one of those, you'll then get presented with this. And you just need to double check, make sure that you've got the 3D one there. And then select OK. Now the next step when it comes to the MKV one is you want to make sure that you're selecting the place where you want to install it. Or where you want to want where you want to save it. And this just depends on where you've got it set up. You can do it anywhere you want to. I've got it in the DVD fab, DVD about dvd fab 13 output i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it as that that's fine for me and then once you've picked all your settings you just want to click start and then it will just start to do the thing it needs to do to copy all the files to the computer obviously you need to make sure you've got the space on your computer to do this And there we have it, process is complete. And it's the same when you wanted to create an ISO file, what you want to do is go to copy. So once the disk is loaded, you want to make sure that this toggle is ticked so it's ready to start. And then you want to go down to the bottom here. Now, with an ISO file, what it wants to do is save it to a disk, but what you actually want to do is save it to your hard drive. So you want to go to the save to and then you want to click on the ISO icon at the bottom just next to start and then you can save it wherever you want. So I'm going to save it in exactly the same place. Click save and then you'll see at the bottom it's saving to that instead of the disk. You want to make sure that it says Blu-ray 3D so you can go to your advanced settings. You can keep the protection that you've created for your disk or you can not depending on, you know, what you want to do. Click OK, and then click Start. And the process is exactly the same, so I'll do that. And then it'll start to copy or clone, depending on what you want to call it, but the actual software is Blu-ray copy. And then it'll just start to process it, and there we have it. And that's it, the process is complete on that one. Just want to click OK. And then it's just a matter of finding your files and transferring them onto a USB-C memory card. I'll put that in the description down below along with the Blu-ray DVD player and that should be enough to get you going. In the next video, I'm going to show you what software you want to be using on your Quest or on your Pico headset to actually play the movies. So check that video out just here.